shows how our next generation Call of Duty engine allows us to bring the player a visual fidelity and realism never before possible. Everything you are about to see is running real time in the next generation Call of Duty engine. To help show the leap forward in our new engine, we have compared some elements with the equipment in our last game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This sequence shows one of Modern Warfare 3's main characters, Price, while this asset pushed the limits of what was capable at the time. The technology employed by the new engine allows us to take the visual fidelity of our models to a whole new level. One of our new technologies, Sub-D, enhances once blocky details by exponentially boosting the poly count in real time, creating perfectly smooth curves. You can see this impact on the soldier's face, as well as his helmet. Every detail has been enhanced by Sub-D. This next generation head is modeled with multiple features represented, Sub-D, high resolution textures, subsurface skin shaders, multiple lights, and self-casting shadows. Here, you can see the dog model from Modern Warfare 3. Our new dog model is taken from high resolution scans of an actual SEAL Team service dog. Every detail is replicated, right down to the scars on the nose and the tattoo inside the ear. We have also motion captured the dog in the same way we captured the movement of our human actor. When playing first-person action games, your character's arms are one of the most looked-at visual elements. The arms in MW3 were beautiful at the time, but the new engine allows significantly increased texture resolution and exponentially higher poly count. This advancement in technology allows us to convey fine hairs, bruising, cuts, and even the dirt beneath the fingernails. Here's an example of a weapon from MW3. As with our characters, it's our goal to dramatically improve the visual quality of every aspect of our game. This is a weapon from Call of Duty Ghosts. To give you a better representation of the dramatic impact Sub-D also has on weapons, here you can see the weapon without Sub-D. And now with the new tech enabled. Without Sub-D enabled, the sight which should be rounded is jagged because of a normal pop count. But with the function turned on, it's perfectly round because this deck has exponentially boosted the poly count of the weapon. Additionally, every detail of the real weapon has been modeled, right down to the texture on the grips, the wires, and the screws themselves. As well as some of the features mentioned earlier, our weapons will utilize a dual-spec metal shader for enhanced realism. Environments have also benefited from our new engine. Here's an example of a jungle environment from Modern Warfare 3. Now, here's a jungle environment from Ghosts. This scene employs many new tech features, including volumetric lighting, boosted poly count, and self-casting shadows. Specular mapping on particle effects, environmental tessellation, and a drastic increase in sheer volume of objects create a nearly photorealistic world. This is just a small sample of many of the technological